Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Madden 21 Ultimate Team video and today I'm going to be going over what you guys need to be doing in Madden 21 right now with the brand new series out coming out a couple days ago. I'm going to be going over the things that you need to be getting done right now to help maximize the amount of coins you make and to help build your team in the best possible way no matter how you are building your team. And before we get into the video guys, make sure you guys drop a like down below and subscribe to the if you guys have been enjoying the vids. And you don't want to miss any coming out in the future. A bunch of vids are going to be coming this week going over a bunch of the content. And going over some more uh, informational videos. Um, whether it comes to power up passes or just some of the best cards in the game in general. But going over starting off what I think you guys should do is we're going to go to the challenges tab. And I'm going to go over the challenges that you guys need to get done. And these are some time crunch ones. We got the 50 challenges. As you guys can see I completed both 20 out of 20 challenges and 16 out of 16 challenges. This is an easy 200k coins from just completing these challenges, right? Now, you'd be like, how are you to make a 200k coins? Just get a bunch of nat 81s, right? Right here, you get about 4k, which isn't bad. And throughout these, if we look here, you get about uh, 400 coins per solo on these three star ones. And then when it comes to these, you get two more of those 81 overalls. And then throughout these, you get 500 coins per challenge. And that alone is what uh, 500 times 16 is uh, like... 8,000 coins, I think, and you get two um, 81 overall players, right? So I believe in total, if we can calculate this, that's 3, 5, 7, 10. That's 10 right there, and then you get two from there. So you're left with 12 81 overall players, along with like 10K from completing those 50 challenges, right? So I'm just going to go in depth with this and how you can make an easy amount of coins. Now, I found this out via Swift. If you guys do not know who Swift is, make sure you check him out. Go ahead and just look up Swift on YouTube. Shout out to him. He is one of the most grindy YouTubers on this on the platform, and he's been working really hard, and he deserves all these um, subscribers he gains and all the um, wealth he gains, I guess you could say, or just... Uh, cloud is a bad word but everything he gains from this but what you guys are going to want to do is you guys are going to want to find the most expensive 50 player for me i found that um brian dawkins and namdi asama are usually the most expensive i did brian dawkins what you want to do is you want to add the 12 50 fresh players you did get from those challenges now those challenges will take a couple hours i must say they took a pretty decent long time but they're definitely worth it to do and as you guys can see these guys are about 23k if you source be the auction house right here but i would recommend going to the actual auction house and refreshing and you try and get those cards for pretty much under 22k and if you're able to get them all under 22k um i believe it should cost you around 440 460k to go ahead and complete the set that is how much brian dawkins was going for last time i checked and then his power up was like 200k so that's an easy 200k profit right there you make a ton of coins that's how i've been able to get my coins up a bunch is by doing that now i did think about doing reggie white because i needed to add him to the theme team but i think i'm just gonna wait to go ahead and get him from the free um challenges because i believe in the weekly challenges there is a milestone where you get a free one and i believe in about week seven so that's what i'm gonna wait for right there but that's the first thing or one of the first things i think you guys should get done in series two because that is a bunch of coins you can easily make just get your coins back up and get yourself going now another thing i think you guys need to do that i need to finish up um is tomorrow solo battles reset go ahead and play your solo battles man as you guys can see i won this game zero to three right now i am currently at um 212 000 points i am two wins away from getting into the legend tier rewards now the legend tier it's 44 000 coins 60 trophies two hail mary two midfield two red zone and weekend league event entry now i don't play weekend league that much i'll play it occasionally when i'm bored or i think i'm playing well that day so i'll try and get some wins but the two red zone packs right they both quick sell for 25k if you don't want the packs that's 50k right midfield packs both are 10k it's another 20k so you've got 70k in those two pack in those four packs right there hail mary if you pull a gold or two i'd say you can make about 10k off those two hail mary packs if you get lucky so we're looking at about what is that um 80k from those packs and then you get 44,500 coins so you're looking at about 124,500 coins for just playing i believe it is nine to ten full games and winning them now what you want to do is you obviously you want to play these games on legend and you just need to win the game it doesn't matter if you 
score 100 points as the SEC. I won 0 to 3. I got 22,500 points. You could easily do this through the entire thing. Just chew the clock the entire time and win by single digits, double digits. You can obviously score more. This is a good way to go ahead and get like tackles and pass yards, rush yards, because it, the higher score you get, the higher rewards you'll get. And obviously, going for top 100 is definitely worth it. You get some insane rewards for just playing solos. But as you guys can see, there's nine hours left. So if you guys have not done solo battles yet this year, I would definitely say start tomorrow and just grind them i believe the way it works so you get four you get five challenges on monday you get to play those and then you get four new opponents wednesday and you update so you get five games on monday four on wednesday on wednesday and four more friday and you have to finish the other games before the next update or um it won't automatically update but if it gets to the second after update you won't be able to actually get those games. So you want to complete these as soon as they come out. As you guys can see, I was slacking a little bit this week, and I've been super busy leveling up and doing a bunch of challenges for you guys and uploading a bunch of videos for you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and get these done, obviously. And I definitely think solo battles are worth it. If what I said didn't make sense, you can look more into it on YouTube. Solo battles are definitely worth it. Now, the third thing, I'm not going in any order, but these things are all essential that you need to do. Is you need to go ahead and you need to grind your mutt level. As you guys can see, I'm at level 57 right now. I just recorded the segment for the level 57. Leveling up this year has been a grind, man. They ever since um the new series they nerfed challenges so you get less XP from them and leveling up is much harder. As you guys can see, I'm three levels away. I'd say this will take me a couple hours, like three, four hours, just between these three right here. It's annoying, but it's got to get done, and I'm willing to put in the work. Now, you guys need to get this done because you get insane rewards. As you guys can see, at level 59, 30,000 coins, you get a gridiron pack right here, and these packs are insane. Now, if you are a no money spent, and let's say you're like a no money spent, you have a no money spent series on your YouTube channel, I completely understand not wanting to open up these packs, but let's say you're no money spent and you don't spend any money on this game, these are so worth it, man. I believe at level 51 and at level 56, you get these packs, right? It's an 86 overall coin quick sell card that you get, and it quick sells for 160k for like $3. It's so worth it, man. You could pretty much get 320k for 10 bucks or six bucks or seven bucks, however much that is. Like, that is so worth it. You also get an 89 90 power pass, a free 90 overall player. And look at just throughout here, once you get to like level 10, you get a 62 81 power pass. At level 15, 62 81. At level 20, 80, uh, 62 81. And at level 25, 80 to 84. Level 30, 80 to 84. Level 35, 80 to 84. Level 40, 85 86. Level 45, 85 86. And level 50, you get an 87 88. And then at level 53, you get another 87 88. And not to mention, you get a free 91 overall Andre Johnson for just leveling up and doing your level challenges in the challenge bar. You can go ahead, can go ahead and see this. If we go to uh, level challenges right here, as you can see, I've done everyone except for level 57 because I literally just got to level 57. But you go ahead and complete these, you get a decent amount of coins from this because the milestones are actually pretty good, and you get about 500 coins per solo. And at the end of the um, whole solo set, you get a token to go ahead and upgrade your Andre Johnson. Go and complete these level up to level 60. It is so worth it. You get so much coins and it is just So so worth it. It takes a long time. I I know that I know that for sure But it is so worth it man. Just trust me go ahead and level up to level 60 I am almost there as you guys can see and before I started season 2 I was about 120k now I am at 840k. I have made so many coins over the past few days it is insane and then next thing you want to do is you want to be upgrading your mutt masters now i've kind of been slacking at it this year but i'm actually getting pretty close i'm just kind of like a few away from a bunch of these um i got tackles i got pass yards but as you can see pass touchdowns i'm two away rushing yards i'm about 2700 away rushing touchdowns i'm nine away i finished sacks i finished forced fumbles so as you guys can see i'm getting there my samples is at 84 but make sure you also complete these because these do expire at the end of the series and you don't get to your 100k coins because once you complete all four of these challenges you get 100k coins and you get a token to go ahead and upgrade your sam mills one overall but just make sure you get these done because getting your sam mills up to a 95 he is an insane card and definitely well worth it and with the new series out you're also going to want to go ahead and earn your um series two um free 86 overall player now last year at not last year at the 
beginning of the last series, we also were able to earn a Team Builder Series 1. I didn't do this because I didn't feel like it was worth it for an 84. They're pretty cheap. But as you guys can see, I've kind of been doing this. I won two of these games so far. And I'm going to go ahead and get myself my free 86 overall Team Builder for my theme team. Um, and along the way, you get a bunch of stuff. You get 4,000 coins, 80, 84 overall Division Core Fantasy, 270 plus Gold Core Team Fantasy, 270 plus Gold Core Team Fantasy, 5,000 coins, 1,000, 1,000, 4,000, more 80 to 84s. You get a bunch of stuff and it's well worth it. And you just go ahead and play these full games. And then there's another way to get Sam Mills done. Like you could just win these games like 100 to nothing, get like 1,000 pass yards and get like... 50 tackles in one game and you get like 10 sacks and a couple forced fumbles it's well worth it you get a free 86 overall player and you can go ahead and level up your sam mills while doing that and then finally two more things i want to go over and we got the legend solos if you guys have not started legends token grind make sure you get started on that this week because you want to be able to earn yourself a free legend i believe it is 16 or 18 of these tokens that you want to go ahead and get and you're able to go ahead and get yourself a free legend player max full legend player and i believe it's like i said it's seven or eighteen uh not seven or eighteen sixteen or eighteen and right now this is legend token number nine as you guys can see you just go ahead and play one full game you get yourself a free token doesn't last that long another way you can grind sand mill challenges and then make sure you're doing your team of the week challenges these you go ahead and earn nat team of the week base players from go ahead and just um filling out the milestones but also every week you get a team of your token and at the end of the year i believe you need at least 13 tokens to go ahead and get yourself a free team of the year player i didn't mean to say at the end of the year in january you get to earn yourself a free team of the year player and team of the year if you don't know that it is it's some of the players with the best seasons they get upgrades so you want to be able to definitely earn some of those cards because they're 96 95 overall cards they're very very good for sure but yeah guys that is pretty much for the video i went over everything i think you guys should be doing in series two right now there's a bunch of stuff you guys can do in game and a bunch of grinding to get yourself the best setup possible but yeah guys that is gonna be the video Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe for the notice on. But yeah, I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>